Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a reading um, about the 555 portal that opened today. Um, there's going to be some big changes over the next five months as well as into karmic cycles. Um, and I'm just going to, we're just going to be taking a look to see what changes you can expect um, and to see what's going to be going on for you guys for the next five months. This reading will be for my earth signs. So um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So what did I just do? Put these cards somehow. Let's see here. All right, there we go. All right, let me go ahead and shuffle my cards and we'll take a look to see what's going to be happening for you guys. What Spirit wants you to know. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, Ace of Swords. So you guys are either going to be getting some type of um, clarity. There's going to be some type of um, new beginning. Um, it could be um, clarity about a situation coming to you guys over the next five months. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. You guys are already moving on from some type of deception. I feel like you guys are going to be um, having a lot of the relationships that you guys are going to have in your life over the next five months or that are going to come into your life over the next five months are going to be very um, equal give and take relationships. There will be reciprocity. Um, I also feel like you guys are going to be moving on um, finding some peace about some type of decept deceptive energy you were invo involved with or a deceptive situation you were involved in. Somebody must have might have been cheating, deceiving you, backstabbed you. We also have the Seven of Wands here. Queen of Swords. I feel you guys are going to be um, really setting firm boundaries. You guys are going to be sticking up for yourself, defending yourself, protecting your energy. The Chariot. You guys could be traveling or... Um, you guys could be traveling or um, making some progress in some area of your life. I also see um, there's going to be some type of, you guys could be have really good luck over the next five months, or there's going to be some type of divine intervention. We have the um, four swords on the back of the deck. This was what was on the back of the, the deck for um, the last group as well. Let me just make sure I shuffle these good before I... I'm going to pull another card for me for you guys. Cause... All right. So we also have, so with the four swords showing itself, four swords showing itself again, um, that means you guys are going to be healing from something, um, taking some time to really rejuvenate, um, to think things through. Um, I also heard make decisions. We also have the nine of wands here. So you guys are um, really close to closing out some type of long, heavy, tiring cycle. Um, we're going to be drawing some clarifiers. All right, what's the Ace of Swords, Spirit? Three of Wands. You guys are going to get some type of clarity about the future. Three of Wands, Ace of Swords. Someone's coming in to apologize or to express their emotions to you. And it's going to give you some type of clarity about the future. What's the Six of Pentacles? Nine of Swords. You guys may have been really um, having a lot of... You guys, it's like you guys were worried because you could not make it... You were confused on whether or not you should keep giving to a situation or not. Or if someone would ever give to you in the way you give to them, I feel like. Six of Swords. I just heard someone... Um, may have had options in the past too. They may have been giving to someone else and it caused a lot of confusion and a lot of anxiety and heartbreak. Um, with the Six of Swords, you guys are moving on. Hmm. You guys are either moving, we're going to get more clarity, but you guys are either moving to a, into a, 
away from something into a um, committed relationship here. Or you guys are moving away from someone that you did have a committed relationship with. You've gained some type of clarity about something about a stable relationship. Something about a commitment. It could be a family situation. Um, but whatever it is, it's gaining, it's giving you peace and it's giving you the ability to move on. What's this? And it's going to make things a lot more, you know, things are going to start going a lot more smoothly for you. What's the seven of swords? The emperor. <sighs> Could have been dealing with an Aries. It doesn't have to be, but um, maybe you guys were dealing with someone that was controlling. A narcissist is what I just heard. Two of swords. This person was keeping you blinded. This person was keeping you from seeing things clearly. But I feel like with the strength card coming out, um, you guys are getting the strength to. We have like a lot of like defensive energy coming from you guys. So I feel like you guys are going to start defending yourself against this person, putting up boundaries with this person. What's the seven of wands? Someone's not too happy about these new boundaries. And they're still holding on to you. Or they're sad because you're holding back from them now. Yeah, someone's not happy that you're holding back from them now. What's the, You're not giving them the same energy you used to. What's the Queen of Swords? Yeah, you've gone cold on somebody, right? Say swords again. You guys are, you got, you've gone cold on somebody. You guys have claimed, gained clarity about some type of situation. You guys are moving on. What's the chariot? You, yeah, you guys are moving on to something that's reciprocal. What's the wheel of fortune? Ooh, the divine's bringing in a new beginning in love for you guys. That's what this divine is. It's going to be a new, there's going to be some type of new love here. And it's divinely orchestrated. What's the nine of wands? Manifesting. You guys are manifesting the end to a burden, a, a cycle of burdens. Yeah, you guys are manifesting victory, success, triumph over difficulties. Yeah, we have the ace of wands in the back of the deck. New passionate beginning. Release this toxic person. It could have been somebody you guys are married to. This reading will not resonate with everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, let's see here. What is the um, Page of Cups, Spirit? Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, Three of Wands. It's a plan, exactly. I said that you guys are, um, it's like gonna be something about you guys are gonna be getting some type of clarity about the future and then planning, getting asked out, text message uh, or call with the intent to date. Tentative plans, making making solidifying plans. Yeah, you whatever this page of cups is, this offer, this apology, it's a it's coming from someone that is wanting to ask you out on a date. They're wanting to um, be in a relationship with you. They want to plan for the future. What's the six of pentacles, seven of cups, nine of swords, kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving. Exactly with the six of pentacles affection falling in love so if you if you guys have been dealing with someone so i don't feel like this is that old toxic person i feel like there's two energies here i think this is the new person i think you guys were worried that you know maybe you guys would never be able to have that this person would never give to you in the same way that you give to them um but spirit saying that that's coming in there's no need to fear there's no need to you know be confused What's the Six of Swords, Queen of Swords? What's this? Something, oh, hold up. Hold up. Something I keep thinking something clicked, but it didn't. Meditate. Meditate daily. Follow your intuition. Find inner peace and balance alone or with a partner. Yeah, I feel like you guys are finding your peace. You guys are moving away from someone that was toxic. You guys are moving out away from some type of family situation. Long-term relationship, marriage, and finding your peace. 
you're following your intuition. You guys are doing a lot of thinking about this situation. What's the strength card, the seven of swords, the emperor, two of swords? Ooh, that flew. Girl with popcorn. Going out, excess escapism, little regard for consequence, creating a mess, not paying attention. Ooh, so you guys were dealing with someone that was messy, who was selfish, who didn't care how what they did affected other people. This person didn't give you the attention that you deserved. They were always, they had like an escapist mindset. They were always, always trying to escape. Yeah. Sounds like you guys are dealing with a child. Um, what's the seven of wands? Um, what's this? Five of cups, seven of wands, four of pentacles, one date. <laughs> yeah, so this person's going to come in and be like, someone's coming in. So this new person that's coming in, I feel like you guys, there may have been some, you may have put your guards up with this new person that's coming in because they were giving to you in the way that you wanted them to. Um, and they were just leaving you kind of confused. So you kind of put a wall up with this person, set some boundaries with them. And you're there, you're, you kind of left them like, you know, if you want to come correct, like I'll be, you know, we can try it again, maybe or something like that. Um, but they're sad about it now. I feel like they are like, dang, I should have invested I should have gave more to this person um, because now they're completely holding back from me. So this person is going to be coming in, apologizing to you for doing that to you in the past. And they're going to be saying like, can just give me one chance. Like, can you just, just go on one date with me? It says, give it at least one date. It takes time to know someone, take a chance, switch up your type. So yeah, if, this is going to be kind of like taking a chance for you guys. Cause I feel like this person has been wishy-washy and you're kind of like, I don't know about this person. They're kind of, uh, I don't know. Flaky. All right. What's the Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords? Ooh. What's the Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords? Groom. Yes, you guys. <laughs> you guys are um get, moving on. And you guys are going to run into your husband Husband, partner, inter interested in a commitment or advancement, love of a lifetime, wedding or event. Yeah, whatever you guys are moving away from is going to manifest your um, lifelong partner, your wife or your husband, or just who you're going to spend the rest of your, li your life with. What's the chariot and the six of pentacles? Abandonment. Fear, abandonment issues are affecting relationships. Ghosting, forgive, especially yourself. So this person that's coming towards you could have been somebody that ghosted you or this person um, was not giving to you. They were holding back from giving to you a certain amount because they had abandonment issues. They were afraid to get too close to you. Um, Spirit saying to forgive this person. I feel like this person's coming in with good intentions. Again, you guys have free will. So you guys do not have to let go on a date with this person. You guys don't have to hear this person out if you don't want to. Only if you want to. What's the... um? What's the Wheel of Fortune? What's the Wheel of Fortune in the Ace of Cups? Taking a break. Not ne not necessarily a breakup. Take time apart. Allow for new perspective. Center meditate. Yeah, this is... Whoever this new love is coming in for you guys is somebody that you guys have been taking a break from. You guys have been taking some time apart to really figure out how you guys... What you guys wanted. How you guys felt. To meditate on things. What's the nine of wands? Oh, goodness. I that card. What's the nine of wands? The magician, six of wands. Ooh. Yeah, you guys, um, you guys were in a cycle with somebody before that would, broke your heart, caused you a lot of pain. There was like, a, you know, they were deceitful. Um, I feel like this person was always blindsiding you. They stabbed you in the back and that cycle is ending with this person. Um, and you guys are manifesting, um, success now with the six of wands and the magician. What's the Ace of Wands, Spirit? That one flew too. Abundance, yes. <laughs> so this new passion that be beginning that's coming in for you guys, it says keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. So that's what you guys have coming to you guys over the next five months. Sometime within the next five months, that's what you guys are going to be achieving. All right. Let me get you guys. This is good. I'm, I'm like really liking this reading probably also because i am an earth sign i'm a capricorn so <laughs> no i i get excited whenever i get a good reading for any sign 
I love to see positive things happening for people. All right, so let's see here. What message do you, from Spirit? What's the postcard from Spirit for my Earth signs? Ooh. All right. I'm going to go ahead and read it to you guys. Dearest you, a rigid tree branch breaks under strong winds, yet flexible seaweed survives powerful ocean swells. Right now, we gently remind you that being flexible is a good choice when faced with life's challenges. Surrender your fixed ideas to spirit who knows what is in your highest good and can deliver to you what you need in the appropriate form. In this moment, rather than fighting or being too sure of your way working out, be a little looser and allow for another outcome. Compromise can be the best way forward if you are to learn new ways of doing and seeing. Stay aware, curious, and teachable. Take life on life's terms. Your purpose may push you in a direction not on your map. Let it be. Be so flexible that no storm can uproot you. In the end, you will still be rooted in the world in abundance, and you will indeed experience the beauty that is yours. We love you so much. All right, guys, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.